let's work an example problem and you may want to pause this video for a moment to draw this figure. What we have is a series of lines, line AB, BC, CD, DE. We know the direction from A to B and then we know the angles. There are three different types of angles one at vertex B, one at vertex C, and one at vertex D. Our goal is to determine the direction, specifically the azimuth, from D to E. So let's get started. We're going to work on this vertex by vertex. So when I am at, when I consider the vertex B, I want to think about the direction of the lines that that I have and the angles. I want the direction going from B to C. Well, the prolongation of line AB here is shown and the angle that we have is between that prolongation of line AB and BC. This is a type of angle we call a deflection angle. Okay. And in this case I have both hands of my clock pointing away from the center of the clock, but if I am trying to go from line AB down to BC, that would be an operation going in the counterclockwise direction. So I'm going to subtract, aren't I? So in this case, I'll take 245 degrees, 11 minutes, 8 seconds, minus 73 degrees, 51 minutes, and 39 seconds. And that will give me for line BC, it's going to give me a direction of, let's see, what did that turn out to be? 171 degrees, 19 minutes, and 29 seconds. Okay. 171.19.21, going from B to C. Okay, so that is an intermediate step I need to get down and do line C to D. So now let's consider the vertex at C. I've finished at B. Let's move on to C. Now, the direction I want from C to D is going to be pointing away as the hand of a clock, but now line BC is expressed pointing toward the center of my clock, isn't it? So I'm going to reverse that direction so I have direction CB. Well, how do I do that? I'm going to take a back azimuth of BC. Well, you may remember here then I'm simply going to add or subtract 180. If I add 180, this becomes 300 51 degrees, 19 minutes, and 29 seconds, right? And instead of that going that direction, it now goes that direction, doesn't it? Okay, so... In this case, I have an angle that connects from here to there. Once again, if I'm going this direction, that's counterclockwise, and that's a negative operation, isn't it? So I'm going to take 351 degrees, 19 minutes, 29 seconds, and I'm going to subtract... 282 degrees, 40 minutes, and 0, 06 seconds, and that will give me the direction C to D, won't it? 
that will give me that direction there. So that works out to be sixty eight degrees, thirty nine minutes, and twenty one seconds. Okay. Does that seem to make sense? It's heading off in the northeasterly direction, isn't it, from C to D? And 683921 is greater than zero and less than 90. So that would fit within the northeast quadrant. Okay, I only need to do one more step in order to get the direction from D to E. So I'm going to consider I'm sitting at the vertex D, and I need a direction going from D to E. However, the direction C to D, instead of being like a clock hand that points away, it points toward the center of the clock. So I need to reverse that direction. Right now, it's expressed going that direction right there. And I really didn't intend to erase that line, but you saw me do it. That line goes like this, doesn't it? Okay. So I want to change that direction and I'm going to add 180 and that becomes what 248 degrees and that is now expressed going in that direction okay so in this case to get from there back over to here that's also a negative operation so I'm simply going to take 248 degrees, 39 minutes, and 21 seconds. And I'm going to subtract, in this case, my 85 degrees, 0, 07 minutes, and 20 seconds. And that works out to be 163 3201. That is the direction going from D to E. And thus we have found that. So this is a classic case of how we use the hands of a clock a perspective to do math at the vertices of some figure.